the feeling of when you can spend a dollar on Facebook ads and turn it into two dollars in revenue is the most beautiful feeling that ever happens. Because Facebook reaches so many people on the earth. I think it's like almost two billion now. You can take up your campaigns, you can scale up your ads so fast and so hard and make so much revenue that it's ridiculous. And I'm gonna go over how to create that magical feeling of where you spend one dollar and get it back instantly into two in one day. And you can do that by writing ads that convert, okay? It all starts with this. My name is John Cristani. I'm an internet entrepreneur. I've spent millions of dollars on Facebook ads. I built a three million dollar per year business from doing Facebook advertising. And I'm gonna go over in this video how to write ads that convert. And I'm gonna go over the four major steps to writing ads that convert, as well as a couple bonus tips to allow you to supercharge your ads and make a lot more profits for your business or your boss's business. Now let's get into it in this video. Looking forward to helping you out. So the first thing you have to understand about writing Facebook ads that convert is that nobody wants another product or service in their life. What people really want, you see, is they want a solution, okay? Or they want some form of transformation to occur. They want to go from their financial state to a much elevated financial state. They want to go from being single to having women all around them at their beck and call or maybe just responding to their text messages. They want to go from having, you know, low self-esteem to more self-esteem. They want to go from having an ugly house into a beautiful, majestic house worthy of being featured in Architectural Digest. Point being, if you come at it from the thought of mind, from an egotistical perspective that you want to sell your product or service, you aren't going to sell it because you're only thinking about yourself. In order to sell, you're going to have to think about creating a solution for somebody else, creating a transformative experience for another person. If you think about it from the perspective of your customer and write your ad from the perspective of what they want but not what you have to offer, then you're getting somewhere. The second major element to writing ads that convert is putting in social proof. Social proof means having other external validation around your product or service that it's great. So for me, holding this marker, right? This is a great marker because it allows people, you see external validation. This is great for presentations. The strokes are thick, the strokes are solid, this is getting a little dry, but it's great and it shows up great on camera. It's better than those little Sharpies. Me using this is a form of external validation. If it's featured in the news, if it has positive customer reviews or testimonials, these are all positive elements of external validation. Celebrity endorsements, doctor endorsements, authority endorsements, these are all great stuff. Let's come to my computer and check out an example of this. Okay, so here's an example of a great Facebook ad. Look at this, the headline, five star review, right? A five star review shows that somebody bought the product, was motivated enough to leave a review, and they gave it five stars. So first off, just having those stars is a huge form of social proof. People love reviews. In fact, most people, the first thing they look at, you might look at an image of the product, but the second thing I look at it, I guess, is they look at the reviews, because if a product product has bad reviews, people don't want to buy it. Here's another form of social proof. They said the compliments were non-stop, okay? So this is in quotes. And whenever something is in quotes, people understand it, to believe at least, that it is somebody else talking, right? Not the person advertising themselves. So just having the quote is a form of social proof saying they loved it. They got a ton of compliments. So that's another form of social proof. And the third form of social proof here is the fact that 
that this looks like an actual wedding photo right here. And the bride, presumably, is smiling, right? And if the bride is smiling, if the customer is smiling, it says it on her face. So it shows that this was a great event. And again, this is an ad for a wedding planning event group. The third element you want to include in your ads is scarcity or also very similar but slightly different is urgency. Okay. Most people have no reason to buy your product. If it's available every day, then most people will say, I'll buy it some other time. Looks nice. Maybe I'll come back to your site a little bit later. It's all right. I'll, I'll think about it. I'll talk to my husband about it and you know, if he likes it, I, maybe we'll buy it. It's much easier to not buy something, isn't it? Why would we spend money when we can put it off? So there's really no reason to buy things now unless there is. So that's why we want to use scarcity or urgency in our ads. We want to give people a reason to buy right now, to give them a fear of missing out if they don't buy right now. The tickets to the game are gonna sell out. We need to buy them right now. The plane ticket prices are going up if we don't buy them this week. I, I've checked them two times. They've gone up each time. Those are examples of urgency and scarcity. People are gonna buy fast. If they have those thoughts in their mind, if you can create that sense of urgency and scarcity, people, people will act and your ads will perform way better than anything else. In fact, this is actually, I believe, the most powerful thing in all of advertising is creating urgency or scarcity. It's hard for some products, but you figure out how to. It's an obstacle, right? You may sit there and think about it for a minute, an hour, a day, a month, a week, but if you figure it out, how to bring urgency and scarcity, to whatever product or service you're selling, you will make way more money than if you hadn't. So here's an example of urgency to get a product that really, for a product that there really wasn't any urgency in. And these are bed bug eradication kits. And this was a product I was an affiliate for. And I started making, this is back in 2013, I was earning about $50,000 a month advertising this product on Facebook. Now I was spending about 25, 20 to $25,000 a month. So I was making about 25 to $30,000 profit. So that wasn't all profit. But this is how I was able to add scarcity and urgency to this product that I was selling. And here's the exact Facebook ad. It says, bed bugs are shutting down businesses and being found at local movie theaters and home. Massive bed bug epidemic. See how to avoid being attacked. And what you'll notice is not only did I have, from this ad alone, I had about 800 people purchase, but people were sharing my ad. If you look, zoom in here, 4,000 people shared my ad, which helped me make a lot more money, okay, for free. And you see I was targeting a lookalike audience here. If you wanna go deeper into it, 55, 60, excluding locations, desktop. You could check out all my targeting, but the point is this ad worked. And the way I created urgency was I said, see how to avoid being attacked. And the implication there is that you may be attacked by bed bugs and figuring out how to avoid it is probably in your best interest. That's some serious scarcity right there. The fourth way to write ads that convert on Facebook is use stories. The more stories you can create, the better. And stories, it's how humans communicate. We want stories. People like stories. People like context because just telling you that, you know, scarcity works, you might be like, okay, okay, okay. I've, you know, seen that in some other blogs before, John. But if I actually show you my bed bug ad and show you the dramatic effect that figuring out scarcity had on my ROI and my ability to earn money as a marketer. That hopefully lends some credibility and believability to the fact that, no, it's a pretty important subject. Now, I'm gonna give you two bonus ways to actually beef up your Facebook ads a little bit here. And one is you saw with the stars, but emojis, emojis are great, okay? Emojis, you could use that flame symbol, okay? You could use, you know, whatever it is, however you can use symbols, 
of, you know, let's say happy people, whatever it is, holding hands. There are a lot of emojis you can use that really help out. Just make use of them where they are applicable. The stars work great as showing social proof. The five stars is probably the most powerful thing you can use. In fact, you can write ads that are just five star reviews, then quotes, then fi another five star review, you know, and then some quotes, etc. That's one of the most powerful ads. And the second bonus tip I'll give you is verticals. So your best stories, your best ads, turn them into video articles. Video articles are like those you see in Now This and those other media publications like The Dota. So look up the dodo and you'll see the sorts of videos that work really well on Facebook, which are these kind of very visual with text as well. Hopefully that helped you learn a little bit about Facebook advertising in 2020 and how you can get a competitive edge here. So if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and let me know in the comments below what was the most helpful piece of information for you? Was it learning to sell solutions instead of trying to sell products? Was it social proof? Was it scarcity and urgency? Or was it stories? Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos of me and hit the notification bell so you're notified as soon as they come out. Talk to you soon.